Okay then, in this video we'll briefly discuss map controls in Leaflet. So before we start coding, let's quickly discuss what map controls are. Well, map controls allow users to interact with the map. And map controls have a user interface such as UI buttons. For instance, in here we have a zoom control, right? So plus and minus. So using these two buttons, plus and minus buttons, we can interact with the map. So that would be then an example of the map control in Leaflet. So I think it's very easy to understand. So map controls allow you to interact with the map using um, using using UI buttons, user interface buttons, right? So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to the Leaflet official documentation. And in here, we have a separate section called controls. So we will be discussing not all of them, but let's discuss layers because zoom and attribution, we already slightly, we a little bit discussed this one previously, but let's discuss layers. So in here, layers, so as you can see, um, you can read in here, it says L control layers or lay uh, control layers can be used to switch between base layers and turn on and off overlays. So I think you already know what base map is. So for instance, in here, this is a base map, the map of the world, or the it can be the map of the specific country. So it's a base map. And then on top of, of that, we usually have overlays. So overlays uh, mean everything on top of this base map. It can be raster data, vector data. So we'll discuss them later on. So now let's implement this one. So for that, what we need to do is let's first have a look usage example. So in here it says very it's they are creating a variable called base layers, and they are assigning here an object to this variable. So and that object consists of key value. So the key would be then the title of the layer um, or layer name, and then this one would be variable. So for instance, map box would be then title or layer name and the variable would be map box and in here overlays marker that's a title and then this is variable and then you cr they, 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 they are creating um, an instance or uh, an instance of the l dot control layers and they are assigning these base layers and overlays into this object um, and then they are adding it to map that's very easy, right? So you can read it in here as well, some name, so that means layer name, and then this is a layer variable. So let's do this one. So for that, let's go to our code. And in here, we don't need these ones anymore. We can just, we can get rid of them. So, and let's start by by specifying or by assigning this l dot tile layer our stadia map base map to a separate variable and then we'll just pass on that variable to this layers array so i'll show you so let's do that so for that we'll just cut out everything and then right before this my map it's very important that it's before that it comes before my map so we'll just create a, um, a variable, call it Stadia Maps probably. So then we'll just assign it to L tile layer. That's it. So then let's create one more variable and that's gonna be for our second base map because what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to implement um, a control that allows us to switch uh, between uh, base maps. So we don't have overlay yet, but that's fine. So that's why let's grab one more uh, base map. For that, we will use um, this website. So from here, let's use this standard OpenStreetMap. So we'll just copy everything and then we'll just, in here, we'll just create a variable, call it OpenStreetMap. Street we can call it standard or whatever we like. Yeah, actually, I don't need this. So then, so once we have this, we need to pass on the default 
base map to our uh, map object which would be in here so I'll explain this so this would be then our open street or open street map standard would be our default map when the uh, map loads so then this one stadium St stadia maps would be then an uh, an extra or additional base map that we can um, switch to so now let's do the same one as they did so we'll create a variable call it base layers and to this and this would be an object and in here we'll just say hey the first one would be open street map because we'll have two base maps so we can call it open street map standard and then we'll assign a variable layer variable there would be this open street map standard so then the second base map would be stadia maps so and so that would be layer name and now we need to specify a variable for our or, or variable that holds our stadia maps so which is this one so then once you have these we can now initialize our l.control layers object right so remind you one more time so what we have done is we created this we don't have overlays yet that's fine and now we i'm gonna create um i'm gonna initialize this l.control.layers um class all right so let's do that um so we can do it directly as they did like right by writing l.control.layers or we can assign it to a variable i personally like variable because later on you can refer to that one so i'll show you so l layer controls then or just layer control so we can make it yeah all right let's make it s so l dot l dot control then layers and in here we need to specify our base layers or base layer variable so here since we don't have overlays we'll just create a we'll just do this curly brackets so that means empty object and then afterwards we can specify some options so in here because once you did this so you have some options if you want but that's fine if we don't want to pa pass pass in any pass on any options to l.control layers that's fine so then we need to add this one to our map so and the way we do it is by writing add to and then afterwards my map so my map would be then is my map would be this so our map uh, object so we're just creating these layer controls um, object and then passing it to our uh, my map object main uh, object so that's it so it should now work and we should have so here we go so we have now uh, our layer controls so you see so stadia maps open street map so when I refresh this one or when the when the uh, map loads up the default base map is open street map standard that's because in here in the leaflet map object I have specified that open street map standard would be my uh, default map but if if I want stadia maps to be my default base map instead of open street map I'll just pass on this stadia maps that's it you see so now uh, stadia maps is my default base map but I can also switch to this so a couple more things in here so I think OpenStreetMap standard is better so that's why let's make this one default so a couple more things in here so this one this title or layer name can be styled in any way you want so we'll cover map control styling later on but for now let's make this one bold so so now as you can see they are not in bold so they are just normal uh, they are in normal letters uh, so now let's make them 
uh, bold. So for that, as you can, as you know, it, we just um, we just add in this bold tag or B tag, and that's enough. So now let's check. So as you can see now, it's in bold. So that's good. So also in here, we can now pass on some additional options. So for instance, like, you know, if you don't like the position, like if you don't want this to be on the top right, you can move it to somewhere else. So let's have a look what options we have. So under this one, that's uh, how you initialize l.control.layers. So right after this, you have some options. So for instance, collapse it. So by default, it's true. So it means it's uh, it's collapsed, but if you want to spread it, you can make you can set collapse it to false, and then it's gonna be spread. So let's do that. Collapse it, for instance, collapse it, and let's set this one to false. So let's check. So as you can see now, whenever it doesn't matter whether you refresh it or you don't refresh it, it's always spread. It's not collapse it. So that's good. So now. Sorry, so let's um, let's change the position as well. So there are some other ones you can have a look. So then position. So by default it's top right. Let's say you don't want it to be uh, top right, and you wanna you want it to be on the let's say top left. So you can do that. So you just say hey position, and then here are the possible values: top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So let's make it top left. So right after this collapse it, we'll say hey position and and then it's gonna be top left. And be careful, it's it should be in it should be a string literal. So I'll show you. So it's you see it's it the type is string, so that means you should type in string. So now it should be on the top left, so as you can see. But I think top right is better, so that's fine. So we can always change it to top right or by default it's top right so yeah here we go so that's l.controls so that's um, how you initialize it and how you add it to your map so that was a brief overview of the map controls in leaflet so in the next videos later on we'll discuss map controls including styling and etc uh, custom uh, controls in detail so that's it regarding this video and I will see you in the next one.